Hi, welcome back to Biochem Talk. In this video, we study about glycogenesis and glycogenolysis. Glycogen is a major carbohydrate stored in liver and skeletal muscle. Glycogen is a polymer of alpha D glucose in which many glucose molecules are linked together by glycosidic bond to form glycogen. Glycogenesis is the synthesis of glycogen from glucose molecules. Glycogenolysis is the degradation of glycogen to glucose molecules. Now, let's see the glycogenesis. Glycogenesis is the synthesis of glycogen. The first step, glucose is converted to glucose is phosphate. The phosphorus group is added to ceases of glucose and forms glucose is phosphate. Kinase enzyme add the phosphorus group to substrate by using the ATP. After the phosphorus group is added to substrate, ATP is converted to ADP. In the muscle, this reaction is catalyzed by SO kinase. While in liver, this reaction is catalyzed by glucokinase. Since this reaction yield high energy product, this reaction is irreversible. This reaction needs magnesium for its activity. The second step, glucose is phosphate is converted to glucose one phosphate. Phosphorus group in the C6 of glucose is transferred to C1 of glucose. This reaction is catalyzed by phosphoglucomotase enzyme. Motase transfers the functional group within the same molecule. In this reaction, substrate and the product have same energy. So this reaction is reversible. This reaction needs magnesium for its activity. The next step, glucose 1-phosphate is converted to active UDP glucose by UDP glucose pyrophosphorylase. UDP glucose pyrophosphorylase use the ATP UTP for this reaction. UTP is converted to UDP plus pyrophosphate. As said before, UDP is added to glucose and forms UDP glu uh, glucose. Pyrophosphate is hydrolyzed to two phosphate groups by pyrophosphatase enzyme. Since pyrophosphate is no longer available, this reaction is irreversible. Next reaction is catalyzed by glycogen synthase. For this reaction, glycogen primer is needed. Glycogen synthase form alpha 14 glycosidic bond between C1 of UDP glucose and C4 of terminal glucose residues in glycogen primer. Glycogen primer is present on the glycogenin protein. This reaction continues until 11 glucose residues are added to glycogen primer. Once 11 glucose residues are added to glycogen primer by glycogen synthase enzyme, branching enzyme transfers cis glucose residues to the neighboring chain by forming alpha 1 cis glycosidic linkage. Thus, the reaction proceeds to form glycogen with alpha 1 4 and alpha 1 cis glycosidic linkage. These reactions are irreversible due to difference in energy levels of substrate and product. Next we see the glycogenolysis. Glycogenolysis is the breakdown of glycogen to glucose molecules. Glycogen is converted to glucose 1-phosphate by glycogen phosphorylase, glucon transferase and debranching enzyme. Glycogen phosphorylase hydrolyzes the alpha 14 glycosidic linkage and removes terminal glucose residues from the outermost chain of glycogen molecule until four glucose residues remain at the outermost chain. Next enzyme glucon transferase transfers the disaccharide unit that is three sugars from one branch to another and thus expose alpha 14 glycosidic branch point. Debranching enzyme hydrolyzes alpha 14 glycosidic linkage. Thus the reaction proceeds until glycogen completely breaks to glucose 1 phosphate. 
these reactions are irreversible because energy levels of substrate and the product are different. Glucose 1 phosphate is converted to glucose phosphate by phosphoglucomotase using magnesium as cofactor. This reaction is reversible. Glucose phosphate is converted to glucose by glucose phosphatase enzyme. Glucose phosphatase enzyme is present in liver but in skeletal muscle this enzyme is absent. So in skeletal muscle glucose phosphate enters into glycolysis from the end product of glycolysis that is pyruvate it is converted to glucose. Regulation of glycogenesis and glycogenolysis. Epinephrine and glucagon hormone converts inactive adenine cyclase to active adenine cyclase. Active adenine cyclase converts ATP to cyclic AMP. Cyclic AMP converts inactive uh, cyclic AMP dependent protein kinase to active cyclic AMP dependent protein kinase. Active cyclic AMP dependent protein uh, kinase phosphorylate the glycogenesis and glycogenolysis enzyme. Phosphorylation of glycogen synthase, which is glycogenesis enzyme, makes it inactive. Removal of phosphate group by protein phosphatase makes it active. So, activator of glycogenesis is protein phosphatase, and inhibitor of glycogenesis is cyclic AMP dependent protein kinase. Phosphorylation of phosphorylase enzyme, which is glycogenolysis enzyme, makes it active. Removal of phosphate group by phosph protein phosphatase enzyme makes it inactive. So in glycogenolysis, cyclic AMP dependent protein kinase is activator and protein phosphatase is inhibitor. Thus, epinephrine and glucagon promotes glycogenolysis and prevent glycogenesis by phosphorylation of glycogenesis and glycogenolysis enzyme. Thanks for watching. If you like, please subscribe to Biochem Talk.